I, I think it's probably worth mentioning that in 1996, you headlined a special Christmas performance for President and uh, then Mrs. Clinton at the White House. Right, right. Uh, I, I, well, I actually, not just them, too. I, my, Frank Sinatra and myself, we, we did uh, President Reagan's first inaugural. Oh, okay. I did that with him. Then I did, as you say, with uh, President Clinton. And then I went back to President Clinton. I did the... I did a show for when the light the Christmas tree, uh, uh, I think about a year or so later after that. And so uh, what was that experience like, performing at the White House uh, all those oh, different it's, times? It's, 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 I'll tell you something. In fact, uh, you know, Willie Nelson and I took, uh, took, uh, I took a plaque, uh, a bowl, and a, and a, and a, and a, and, and a plaque, uh, actually a plaque, but a, 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 a to President Jimmy Carter for, for his contribution in country music. We sent Willie Nelson and I took him some things from Country Music Association, took him some plaque and uh, and, and uh, uh, paraphernalia for, for being, helping, you know, being, supporting country music. Ah, uh, sure. Andy, you continue to tour throughout the country to this day, correct? That's correct. I just, uh, we did our first show out around Houston in February, I mean in January, and then we did last week. We were in uh, Lincoln, Oregon, at uh, two shows at the C- Chinook Winds Casino, and uh, I'm going on my way. Day after tomorrow, I've got to go to the Constitution Hall and play with the Army, the, the Naval uh, Academy a Symphony. And do you know if you're coming up here to New England anytime soon? I don't have anything at the moment. We we don't have anything. We uh, we've been wondering why, you know, because uh, people like. You know, we go, Foxwood, you know, uh, we wondered why they haven't uh, uh, put out any um, offers, you know, for us to come there. But uh, I want to tell you something. I played, at the very first part of my career, I played Milford, Connecticut. And, and uh, uh, of course, uh, I, I played, uh, it's, been a, it's been a while since I played up that way. I played uh, Maine and, uh, of course, Banger, I played Augusta, I played, but it's been a while, and uh, so it's, it's we're in a situation now where uh, um, they want us to want us to come back before I can get off stage. They want us back annually at these other places. And I, I'm not done, but so many shows, you know, right now. Yeah, and uh, it's just hard to play with all of my fans, and then in, in, in consequent, consequently, it, it's hurting a lot of my fans not seeing me. You see. Yeah, and yeah. I think different, in different other cities and different other states. I think there's a sort of a common misconception in New England here by uh, venue owners. I, I mean, not as a whole, but pretty much, and uh, of course, radio stations too. That there aren't a lot of fans of traditional country music in in New England, and that's really not true. I meet people everywhere I go that tell me how much they love the oh, old yeah, I, I style music. That- I really think that if I came up there, I'd still, I'm, I sell out most everywhere I go. I, I tell people, my, my career right now is sort of like, if you, maybe I don't really remember, but there was a time, Coors Beer, you only could get it in on Colorado. Mm-hmm. And because uh, people had heard about Coors Beer and they liked it and that's so, so they get their relatives or someone to send them some, you see? Because yeah. you could only get it in Colorado, but now you can get it anywhere, but, 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 I'm saying this to make a point that I I, I feel my career is like that. Uh, 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 p- people uh, that love my singing, uh, um, they, they they it's like cool as beer. If they ever get, if, if, whenever I show up, you know, I say, well, you don't see him that often, so we, he's like cool as beer. We got to go see him. <laughs> he don't come, he don't come this way too often. So, will you be appearing at the Grand Ole Opry anytime soon? We'll, I'll be doing probably three or four cents before this year's out. I, I, that did in January, and uh, uh, then then I. It just depends on uh, you know we we'll, we'll probably we I, I I try to do it as much as as much as often as I can, and I'm sure somewhere between now and uh, in April or May or June, especially I'll definitely be doing it in June. I'll definitely be there in June. Oh, for fanfare. For fanfare, but but then it'll probably be before then. But I, I don't have it right now. Well, uh, we'll keep a lookout because it's always great to hear you on the Opry. Okay. And uh, thank you again so much, uh, Mr. Well, Charlie Pryor. Thank you Pride. for having me, and uh, 
Uh, you know, I'm out here with the Texas Rangers baseball team. I'm a little bit stiff, but you know, it's, it's not. I'm not 31 anymore, and it's kind of it's not as easy as to run around in and throw that baseball like I used to. <laughs> and no, but you still look like you're 31. Oh, I appreciate that, but I I tell you, I look in the mirror though, Paul. It's not there yet. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, and I think we're gonna take a listen to uh, Kiss an Angel. Good morning. Okay, thank you very much. That's that was.